Welcome back to Fox 43 AM Live. Join us now is Jana McFarlane with the Topeka and Shawnee County Public Library. Good morning. Good morning. Very excited to have you on the show. We have so much to talk about. Oh, and we have props. We have props yeah. as well. So, <laughs> right. but first, I want to ask. I would, I just logged on to the the your guys' website. It's it's recently changed. It's all new. I I know you guys were excited about that. I was talking to some of the other members of the library, and it's very exciting with the new website. Everyone was very excited about it. Yes, it is a beautiful design. It is that uh, that's that stunning, very colorful mm -hmm. look that the library is known for. Uh, it's a, definitely a way that you will stay curious because once you're at the website, you're going to be drawn in to find out everything else that's happening at the library. It's a much more um, user friendly experience to help you navigate all the events and books and things that are going on at the library. Yes, wonderful. Sorry. And navigating all the events because you guys have a lot of stuff coming up here in March. Um, I want to start, um, let's see, the music for a Sunday afternoon I know is kicking off on Sunday, this right? Sunday, yes, with March past tense. Yes, that's right, past tense. So uh, if you enjoy Allison Krauss or Lonesome River Band, you are going to love past tense. And you might already uh, have a fondness for them because they have been performing together since 1994 in the Topeka area. So wow. you might have seen them at the Classic Bean or at your church fundraiser or Evergy Plaza. Uh, people just love their um, their acoustic sound, the fiddle, mandolin, guitar, upright bass, and their gorgeous harmonies. All ages are going to love this music. And the you know the atrium of the library has such great acoustics. It like. sure <laughs> does. I know this will be in the auditorium because I think auditorium. there's going to be okay. a big draw. But we, you're right. We in our rotunda we often have musical uh, guests come in and perform for us. Any day you walk through the library, you just don't know what you're going to find. Uh, that's true. Exactly. <laughs> and what time will they be performing? on Sunday. Uh, three o'clock. Okay, mm -hmm. three o'clock. Be yes. there, everybody. Three o'clock Sunday right. is going to be great. And now also, spring break is on its way. Oh, yes. And you guys have so much fun going on. So the 9th through fun. the 17th, ready for, ready for kids of all ages. That's right. Kids of all ages. Oh, w would you hold this for me? I, oh, I just sure. need to pick something up. Yes. Yes. Oh, so, oh what is yeah. it? <laughs> <laughs> so, oh no! <laughs> right, the tricksters in your house are going to love what we have going on on Monday afternoon at 3:45. We're making rattlesnake eggs. Oh We're making boy. some other pranks, maybe some edible soap, maybe some bracelets that aren't what they seem. Um, we also are going to be shaving a shamrock. If you want to show us our shamrock, we're doing some painting with shaving cream. So that's a blast. Get your fingers messy and come home with some some uh, little crafts for the trickster in your life. So we. We are ready for April Fool's Day as well. Oh my gosh, kids love pranks, and Dane loves pranks. I, I, lo I absolutely <laughs> love pranks. Listen, I was one of those kids. I would, I would fall in love with this. Yes. I would be giving this to my parents and any little like, hey, <laughs> see <laughs> this? Uh -huh. I know it's hilarious. It's a great way to get your dad back for all those terrible jokes. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Yes, and so um, after Monday, uh, we will start our theme, um, hanging with my gnomies. So you will get to create your own gnome. Oh, Isn't that adorable? So fun. Create your own gnome. Wow. We'll be building a to uh, a gnome home. Um, we will be coming. The, we will be becoming the gnomes ourselves. Oh, I, I heard somebody around here wanted to try this on. Okay, I gotta become a gnome now. You gotta make a gnome beard. <laughs> it suits you. It really does. And then you're gonna put on one of these hilarious costumes and ride uh, snail back <laughs> through an obstacle oh, course we've set gosh. up in the auditorium. It's going to be so much fun. This is great for those extra wiggly people in your house who maybe it's spring break <laughs> and they need to get out and run around. This will be perfect for those kids. Oh, I know some uh, nephews I, who, that, who are, are definitely going to take think advantage. They hilarious. Love costumes and, and uh, are very wiggly. So. That's right. That's right. So bring those. I mean, there really is something for every every kind of kid. I, I absolutely love it. And when are we, when are we making Gnome, gnomes now becoming gnomes? <laughs> uh, that would be uh, Tuesday, 3 okay. o'clock, uh, in various places around the kids' library. There will be different crafts going on on Monday, and then Tuesday we will the gnomes, uh, I think uh, I think Thursdays, the gnome homes, uh, and the obstacle course Friday. Obstacle it all comes course. together with a movie night. Ooh. Romeo and Juliet. Wow. So every single day. Every single you're day. Have something going and on. those are our elementary age uh, activities. For the preschoolers, we have three story times happening on Saturday at 10 a.m. We are having musical story time. Um, and I heard there's going to be a special appearance by the cast of Junie B. Jones from Helen Hawker. <gasps> so I think that'll be not one to miss. Oh, so wow. fun. Of course, our librarians with their stories will be there as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and then
then Tuesday and Thursday at 10 o'clock, we have musical story time. So those kids are going to are going to love shaking their sillies out and listening to stories on those days. Absolutely. Love now, if it. you have teenagers there's also something for them to do because you don't want just sitting around looking at their phones at home <laughs> all day for spring break. That's right. So in the afternoons we will be having a craft day, sensory self-care day, um, but they're also for kids with different interests. We have a D and D day. We oh, have cool. um, Mario Brothers tournament on Friday, but we also have a <laughs> movies night, which I just found out is going to be an 80s theme. So I wish I could go, but you have to be between the ages of 12 and 18 to attend those events. Oh, oh. fair enough. Darn it. Darn That's it. Right. Okay. <laughs> and also, real fast, mm -hmm. right, we have another little piece yes. of art here. What's going a on? Great piece of art. Um, it is Kansas Youth Month or Youth Art Month at the library. Uh, art exhibits uh, are on display from all over the state. I brought this one to show you from That's Zoe beautiful. from Payola High School. Um, wow. It is a digital painting. Um, the, all types of artwork are on display, but I picked this one because I, she's trying to explain what's, what it's like to have type 1 diabetes. So mm. this is um, her looking at juice in the middle of the night. And so it's a way that they're, she's telling her story and exploring empathy through art. Um, and I, I think that's just one of the wonderful ways that kids are given the tools of creativity to um, to show the world what they're thinking about. Oh, wow, fantastic. they're going to be uh, tools for, uh, with tools for creativity for kids of all ages all this week. All ages, <laughs> and so adults will enjoy spooky Irish stories on the St. Patrick's Day at two o'clock. This one's not for kids. It's uh, it's about witches and the undead. So Ooh. also one not to miss. So much to look forward to. Yes. I cannot wait. Jana, thank you so much for joining us this morning. It's been such a pleasure. Of course, everyone, please to learn more and to get a full look at events, you can head on over to tscpl.org.